Oh, wow. <laughs> no way! There are three one by two blocks on this scramble. And as a yellow cross solver, you might notice two solved F2L pairs and a nearly solved bottom layer block. And Maddie's opponent, Timon, did end up going for yellow cross somewhat unsuccessfully. But Maddie noticed something way better on blue cross, making use of these two blocks and noticing that these two first layer corners are already paired with their adjacent first layer edges. And this four move cross can be done in a few more moves to actually solve the second layer edges above those solved corners and create a seven move double X cross. So he starts by bringing over this block, setting up this edge, inserting this second cross edge, and now bringing down these two bringing in this cross edge and the corner, which also set up the second layer edge, which is now opposite from this second layer edge. And this corner has been preserved. So solving the cross, the corner, and aligning the bottom layer to create a double X cross. Next, he solved this pair, setting up to solve the orange and white pair next, and doing a sledgehammer to force edges. and going into a very easy last layer case. His first seven moves here are quick and precise. Planning and inspection helps with that. And he quickly transitions here with this nice double flick setting up for that next F2L pair. And sometimes a hard transition to make from cross, or in this case, double X cross to third F2L pair. But he does it very smoothly Notice the alternating hands, left hand into right hand double flick, using that right hand for the U moves. And here the lockup, amazing that he was able to get a 3.12 with this huge lockup. This easily could have been sub three. And another mistake in the execution. But when it's only 28 moves, there's a lot of room for error. And this isn't perfect. The important part here is just to finish the solve in a Monkey League record time.